Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I have another D15 engine with a major problem. In the past I did different videos about the D15 engines having major problems, but in this case we have a very common problem that is going to be a crankshaft failure. In this case this D15 engine that I have right here had a um, crankshaft failure and uh, if you want to see details on how to replace a crankshaft I have details on my channel, you can check different videos I have showing you how to do this uh, job. It's a full job that requires a lot of time, it's not that easy, but I have many different details and many different failures of this uh, component, and it's the crankshaft. And in this case I have this engine that suffered a crankshaft damage for, for one specific problem that is the suction manifold failure. This right here is the suction manifold or pickup uh, tubes or whatever you want to call it. They have many different names depending where you are. This is the one that is in charge to pick the fluid, in this case the oil, from the bottom of the oil pan to the oil pump, that is that one. So in this case the failure happened right here. You can clearly see the failure. And the failure happens after the suction side. This right here goes to the bottom of the oil pan right here. And then the oil pump when you start the engine, start picking the oil in this direction and it goes to this side of the pump and is the suction side of the pump and then comes to the other side right here, gets pressurized and then goes all the way right here to this area right here. This is where it goes in between the tubes and comes right here. This right here, this orifice is the one that goes to the oil filter in the engine. And this part right here, this broken piece, is the one that goes right here. So, what happened here is that this piece breaks, and the reason why it breaks because it's a plastic piece. It's, I mean, it's normal to know that plastic pieces break because we have uh, uh, you know, high temperatures, uh, vibration, and many different things that happens when you're driving these vehicles. And plastic components are not going to resist forever. They are not as strong as metal, but they're lighter than metal. And that is the reason why they're using plastic, because they are more um, easy to reduce weight in many different ways, so that way we can add different components, safety components in this case. So, um, what happened was then this one broke and the owner of the drive or, or the driver, I don't know who was driving this um, engine when this happened, I mean this vehicle when it happened, and they kept on ruining the vehicle, I mean the engine, they kept on starting the engine again and again and again until they destroy the engine. Uh, we can see a lot of debris at uh, the bottom of the oil pan because you know engine ran out of oil because all the oil was leaking right here from this area so all the pressure that was coming from the pump was getting released back to the oil pan in not getting to the oil filter in all the other components that need lubrication and this caused a very uh, intense damage in this case, um, a crankshaft damage uh, of the whole entire crankshaft has to be replaced. If you look at the crankshaft right now, everything is all together, but you are not going to see any damage because the damage is going to have is it's going to be visible once you take it apart. You want to see how many uh, rods or main bearings were damaged because of this. Probably I want to continue the video showing you how was the damage on this and uh, so that way you can understand that this is a very severe problem and if your oil pressure drops, don't try to start your engine again. Just don't do it. Just let the engine sit, take it to a shop, tell them the oil pressure dropped completely, so check what could be the problem. So what will be the solution? for this engine. There is two different solutions we can do, but 2021 is a very, very hard year for trucking industry because parts are super hard to get. Right now we are on uh, August, ending August and starting September of 2021. And 
components for the V15 engines or Cascadias in general or many other uh, heavy duty engines and vehicles are very hard to get because we are in a very back order situation. Most of the components that we need for these engines are in back order. We have to wait long times in order to get these components. In most cases we have to pay higher prices, higher markups just because we need the components right now and there is always people selling them but they are selling them in a higher rate which is going to be more expensive. So right now that option of building this engine, replacing the crankshaft is going to be a super hard decision to take. So the other option will be removing the engine and placing another engine. We have to talk to the owner of this engine, uh, of this vehicle, and uh, ask about what he wants to do. Um, using a used engine doesn't guarantee that everything is going to be all right, but guarantees that the, that the vehicle is going to be running the fastest. But um, using a use engine is not going to be the best solution all the time. As, I mean, if you know from where the engine is coming, if you have details on how the engine was, uh, if the person that is selling the engine, the John Yard that is selling your engine, showing you the mileage, engine running and everything, yes, perfect, we can put the engine with no problems, but most of the people don't do that. Mostly all engines are out and uh, we have no chance to see if the engine runs or no. Only their words is the one that count. But um, we, I don't know, right? I don't know yet what we are going to do on this on this case on this what we uh, know right now is then we want to pull the engine that's the reason why you can see this vehicle completely apart because we are re getting ready to remove the engine completely taking it apart and uh, we'll see what we're gonna do if either decision we take i will um, get you uh, that information in the next video and i want to tell you what was the damage and the aftermath when this happened, this component right here, when it breaks, the suction manifold. So very important, as I say at the, uh, at the beginning, or as I say at the middle, when I was talking about this, if this breaks, if you see then the oil pressure drops suddenly with no warning at all, and the red light comes on, um, don't start your engine again. Don't try to start it. Just let it rest, take it to a shop, investigate the problem because if this happened to the your engine i mean uh, it, it is just very small amount of possibilities that you have then your engine won't get damaged so the override uh, shutdown override is going to allow you to drive for a long uh, a, a short period of time when the oil pressure drops but that is going to damage more your engine so if the engine shuts down usually what happened is that uh, when the engine shuts down event happened for oil pressure it takes about five seconds for the computer to delay the shutdown so in five seconds you have to know then the engine is going to shut down and you have to stop to a safe area and don't start your engine so if you try to start it back engine will start but it will have no lubrication and in five seconds again the computer is going to shut down your engine but those five seconds that means then you have no lubrication at all. And if you try to start again, it will be 10 seconds, 30, uh, 10, uh, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. And that's how it happens. People just keep on turning the engine on and on and on until it gets completely destroyed. So um, it is just an advice to all of you because this is a very common problem. This component and brakes is very common, as I say, because it's plastic, um, you know, uh, manufacturers are trying to save weight and by doing that they're causing different problems they are going to be more expensive over the time um, and uh, we'll see so we want to take this engine apart and once we do that we're going to continue on filming uh, and telling and, and getting the information to you what is uh, the result 
of the repair that we're gonna do after we take everything off. So I hope you find this video informative and if you don't, just comment below and uh, comment anything that you didn't understand about this video. And if you want to share any of your experiences or comments that has anything to add to this video, just do it because there is a lot of people that is looking for answers and probably your answer could be the one that they're looking for. And you want to support the channel, check the description. I have details how to send support to the channel so I can continue creating content like this. You want to contact me directly, the best, go to Instagram, be patient. I have too many questions to ask, so uh, I mean to answer. Um, uh, there is many questions that I have to answer, so uh, sometimes I will be able to answer right away, sometimes I don't. So just please be patient and eventually I will get to you and if I don't, just message me back and I will try to get to you. So uh, like the video, share it, subscribe and thank you for watching.